Welcome to Street Trash, the new godless show where members of the horror community sound off about films, TV shows, music, and books. And just so you know, this shit is from the fucking street. Elm Street. On this week's episode of Street Trash, we are going to talk about the world's lamest franchise horror movie villains ever. That's why I'm standing in front of Nancy Thompson's house from Nightmare on Elm Street, because I think you fucking guys know that my choice will always be fucking Freddy Krueger for the lamest motherfucker in the world. Freddy started out so strong in the first Nightmare on Elm Street. He was menacing, creepy, weird, fucking totally out of control. And then, in Dream Warriors, they turned him into this fucking comical, wacky, sneaky, fucking Freddy. And they completely trashed the character. It all started in Dream Warriors. The very first scene where they fucked him up is that wizard scene. When that kid comes out and he's like, I am the wizard master. I am the wizard master. By the power of Laura, Prince of Elves. Demon be gone! And then like the lightning was coming out of him. He's like, ah! What kind of what kind of picture is this? And then Freddy grabs him and is like, sorry kid, I don't believe in fairy tales. You should have believed in fairy tales, bitch, because after he fucking said that, you became a goddamn clown. Fuck you, Freddy Krueger, for becoming a fucking punchline. Hello, it is Nicholas Gray. Splattering Publishing, and I am here to talk about the lamest horror movie franchise villain, whatever. Honestly, I'm gonna go by the Jeepers Creepers guy, Creeper or whatever his monster name is. Honestly, he had one decent film, and then it fell off the face of the earth. Like, his other films just blow. Like, I, I hate the Jeepers Creepers franchise series. Um, part of it is because you never really get a good, like, feel for the Creeper in general, you know? Yeah, he's just very underwhelming the first one they felt it felt like they were building something with this character you know with the cool truck and stuff like that but it, it all goes out the window and he has like these new freaky powers in the second film and it just doesn't feel like a jeepers creepers film don't get me started on the next two sequels jeepers creepers avoid his peepers and yeah the uh the films just stink sorry the latest horror movie character for me was annabelle just because she's a doll, um, people could pick her up, throw her around, kick her, do whatever. And it's a demon possessing this doll, but this demon could have chose anything to possess, any creature, and it chose a doll. Um, all you'd have to do is lock it up and nothing would happen. Also, she never moves in any of the movies, which also, you know, just makes no sense to me if this doll is causing so much harm. But the movies have never gotten any reaction out of me, so it is what it is. Okay, so who is the lamest of the horror villain whatever? I would say Joseph Doctor, Joseph Heider. I'm not German, so I could be saying the wrong, whatever, but I'm just throwing it out there. He is a retired surgeon that specializes in the separation of Siamese twins. And he's like, hmm, I have a fucked up idea. Let me see if I can join some motherfuckers. So he goes around collecting these fucking little pets of his. He starts collecting them, you know, ass to mouth, whole new meaning, you know, little nasties, but starts, you know, not really researching them. He's like, you know what? This, this is a good idea, digest, di digestive trick. But starts collecting these people, has a bunch of random fucking sedatives, uh, who has i don't know why but he's just fucking lame he doesn't talk he's super antisocial. he just gets lucky with these victims he doesn't have to try they just kind of like fall into his lap and then he's like let's put some shit together you know maybe maybe get a fucking dog try another pet maybe lame hello rj benetti here author of small short stories to read in one shitting i think that the worst horror movie villains are the mutants from basket case 2. Dwayne and Belial have to go to this house filled with mutants that live with some lady named Granny Ruth. And they're living with Granny Ruth and these mutants. There's a big rat-faced monster that eats cheese the entire movie. Should have made it a hamster, am I right? There's a creature with a crescent moon for a head. There's someone else that looks like Sloth from the Goonies was microwaved. And then there's this other lady that has just like this really long head 
that kind of looks like a blender. Maybe that's where they put the movie script. <laughs> yeah, but they're the worst. They suck. I love Basket Case 1, but those mutants in Basket Case 2 were really stupid. Thank you. We're going to talk about Captain Howdy, not Captain and Howdy from The Exorcist, which is fucking terrifying. Captain Howdy from the 1998 masterpiece, D. Snyder's Strangeland. This is D. Snyder's grasp at maintaining relevance with the youth of the day. Now, let me tell you, when we first see this guy, he's fucking legit. D. Snyder's a huge motherfucker. He's a tall dude. And his character looks badass. Look at this shit. Look at that. You're like, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Well, the worst thing he ever does is he uh, sews mouth shut and he um, gives people large gauge piercings. Even though the blurb says he's a serial killer, only one person dies on his watch and that's because she can't handle the large gauge piercings. She has a congenital heart condition which uh, causes her to have a heart attack. She's the only one who ever dies. So when he finally gets caught, he gets put to a mental institution because uh, he didn't kill nobody. The worst part of this movie, the most torturous thing about what he does to these humans is he subjects them to like five minute long monologues on the philosophical and existential nature of using sadistic and masochistic pain infliction to reach self-actualization. Believe me, it's hard to watch. <laughs> this movie's amazing. <laughs> It's not that hard to outsmart an old man in a rain slicker with a hook on his hand because, uh, duh. 